What's goody, YouTube? It's your boy, Black Kuchia, three long face, skinny body, and we back with some more fire, board to anime content. None of the small chit-chat. We get right to the business. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button. If you rock on my videos, you be watching my videos, you might as well go ahead and subscribe as well. Smash that like button, turn on the post notification bells, share the video with your friends, and let's get right to the business. You know we got the we got the juice for Boruto chapter 46 and it's going down it's getting real and honestly bro if there's any more spoilers being released after I post this video I'm really not even gonna look at it because I feel like I don't read damn near the whole entire chapter and you already know the drill my homie organic dinosaur came through with the clutchness you know releasing the spoilers since early this morning because i didn't go to sleep until like around 5 30 she started tweeting about the spoilers like at five o'clock about from the title the cover page fire no pun intended but definitely like fire straight flames uh the information that we're gonna get so bruh man i'm just going bro uh, all right the main things that she pointed out before going into the um, the more detailed uh, transcriptions that she gave us already. So some of the main highlights overall in the entire chapter is some of the things that we get to see is, you know, um, everybody's calling him Boroshiki. So, you know, my nigga Boroshiki, we're going to see him again. Obviously, it's going to be more of a one of those things where people are thinking or just probably over a conversation. But we're going to see um, almost Shiki's head basically on Boruto's body. That's how she that's how she describes it. So I don't know how that's going to look, bro. But we're going to see the full design of his karma seal from head to toe. Pause. You're going to have to ask Ikumoto how that shit is going to get down. And then we dive into the stuff that I'm pretty sure why half y'all even clicked this video for. But we start to learn a little bit, uh, not even a little bit, a lot of bit about my son Ishiki and my son Jigen. And it turns out that damn near half the fandom was right in the first place. And I knew it. And I knew it. I knew it. We was all calling it. So I'm not going to be like I was right because everybody was saying it like bro my nigga jigen has nothing to do with nothing dude ended up actually turning out just to be a random monk who just happened to be right there when my nigga ishiki was dying and my son ishiki apparently choked this man's out and took his body so going into the details of how ishiki actually came to be so it's pretty obvious we've been talking about this since the beginnings of ever since uh jigen debuted in the car organization and we started to learn more about the karma seal but uh ishiki's main goal is to completely uh revive himself into his regular body and that's essentially what the karma seal is so we learn basically the nature of the karma seal and y'all know i've been arguing this right i have been arguing this but i'm gonna still stand by my argument even though I'm pretty sure like this chapter kind of is going to debunk it, but I'm still standing by it. So essentially what the Karma Seal is, is a compressed version of an Otsutsuki. I still feel like a Karma Seal Otsutsuki vessel has the potential to be stronger than the main Otsutsuki. And it looks as if Otsutsukis can only do this on the verge of death and all of that stuff. So my guy Ishiki was completely missing his body, like his lower half of his body. And he shrunk himself and basically jumped into Jigen's body before inevitably dying and then creating the karma seal on Jigen's chin and thus leading to where we are right now so my guy Jigen really was just a regular monk minding his business he did not have no intentions of walking up into Naruto's household and handing man's the work like that but my guy Ishiki has just been pulling the string to the details of the karma seal um first of all the main part is most of this chapter don't get disappointed y'all most of this chapter is going to be kasha koji versus jigen she makes that clear to us off the get but i'm trying to give y'all the details of like because you know i can't just like go over the action scenes that i haven't seen yet you know so we're going to talk about that hype i i guess when the fucking chapter actually comes out because you already i am excited for kasha koji versus jigen right all right but still some of the more of the things that uh we talk about with the karma so so it's a small compressed version of otsutsuki clan and essentially what it does is over time it eventually will transfer this is how it's explained throughout the transcript it will transfer all of the data and basically not i don't want to say dna because that word it isn't used but to make it more clear like it transfers all of the data and all of the information that the otsutsuki has itself into the vessel which they implanted the karma seal until all of the data of the vessel or the karma seal so in this case jigen you know what i'm saying and then you got boruto and then you got kawaki until all of their data is completely erased and nothing is left 
Butter Otsusuki member. What the fuck? And everybody was calling this from the jump, bro. But I was still screaming like, yeah, that's pop. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Ah, it's obvious. Yeah, my nigga Momoshiki trying to take over his body. But I still felt like, bro, he isn't trying to make a comeback in that type of way. He, he, I feel like he's trying to, he's trying to, I don't know, maybe not guy Boruto, but just peep the shit that's going on. But then we have these uh, information is being released to us and it's just getting more crazy after crazy after everything is being revealed and so we're gonna have a model revealing more information um and apparently he gives them the juice on how to actually kill an otsusuki member and you already know the goat the queen herself aka my fifth baby mom's kagi was mentioned and her and Ishiki has everybody already gets an initiated her and Ishiki has some type of history together and she left mans with a surprise you know i'm saying all girls are the same so she left all high and mighty and she did my son ishiki dirty so she caught this man by surprise because she was acting hostile towards him now we don't get further details on that but maybe this happened um somewhere in it i don't know because it looks when kaguya first came down in the field i know this is filler but hey it's the most legitimate and accurate uh detail that we can get on kaguya's backstory but when she came down into earth it looked like she landed in that very first spot and then go nowhere else but you already know my deep history on kaguya and ishiki and all that shit i felt like all that time throughout her entire backstory she had shit on her mind so apparently what she had on her mind was like damn i wonder if this nigga ishiki actually died or not and that looks like it might turn out to actually be the case going over everything um boruto's existence itself is being threatened by momoshiki just for the mere fact that he has a karma seal so i'm not sure exactly how far they're gonna dive deep into that but i still gonna like fall on the edge of saying that my guy momoshiki really is not planning to completely i don't know unless it's like inevitable like from the jump you get the karma seal that's just what's gonna happen but like i said bro we see 16 year old board so he looks completely fine so i don't know unless they find some type of way to slow the effects or my guy momoshiki starts cooperating now going into the juice my guy Kashin koji starts revealing a whole lot of information about himself him and jigen get into the business mad taijutsu being used and apparently jigen can't absorb those flames of samahata that Kashin koji used to kill that one elder uh car remember back in the earlier chapters because it is actually natural fire flames and not ninjutsu like in when sasuke uses amaterasu so i ain't go i don't know bro that right there already makes kasha koji's jutsu way more dangerous than sasuke's just putting it out there like that because we already know amaterasu is never going to stop burning unless the user takes out the flames himself and my guy kasha koji described his flames of samahata as it's gonna keep on burning until it burns its target completely to ashes and dust and it's natural fire so my guy kasha koji got some tricks up his sleeve and apparently this is what you know amato's been doing behind jigen's back you know giving kasha koji some natural jutsu rather than just strictly ninjutsu stuff that the karma seal can actually absorb and all of that but yeah you already know the deal y'all i'm leaving a link in the description below so if y'all want to read more information into the tweets and translations that are dan and Gynosaur left uh click the link in the description box but it's your boy black and chiha three boruto chapter 46 coming out in two more days on the 20th look forward for the video review it looks like and i know i say this a lot but i'm gonna keep on saying it until they disappoint me but it looks like we're anticipating the best chapter yet of boruto so boruto chapter 46 long face skinny body got on the green it's your boy black with chia don't forget to comment below what's the most exciting part of this chapter that y'all looking forward to and until the next video until boruto chapter 46 comes out holla at your mama holla at y'all black with chia out yes sir <laughs> From this moment forward, that I will never lose again. Until the day comes, I will never. <laughs>